Hello and welcome to the Tools for Motherhood activity series. In this video today, we're going to be taking a look at a pre-math activity for children three to four years old, and we're going to be focusing on shapes. The goal of this activity is to use and play with various textures of shapes. All right, I've got several uh, shape games to share with you, so I'll try to cover them quickly as I can. All right, to begin with, I started creating um, just, I have a large piece of uh, poster board. I cut into half and I um, have an example of a circle, a rectangle, triangle, and square. And notice that I have a sample in the top corner. Next, I have a very large example of each of those. Again, triangle, square, circle, and rectangle. And we would place these large descriptive uh, ones on the living room floor. Next, we would match each of these shapes with the white poster board. Next, we would, um, I had an assortment of a bunch of different colored construction paper shapes, and we would begin to sort out each of them to the place that they belong. So we would have various sizes, we would have various colors, and it's just hands-on, lots of movement, and lots of fun to play. All right, the next step, he really enjoyed that game, so I wanted to create it in another form. And this is something that I use. I, I quilt, and so I have tons of fabric. And also, if you have clothes that you're going to get rid of, you can cut up your clothes and make the different shapes. You can do, I used a pinking shears to make them for squares. And I've got circles and um, lots of squares. We've got triangles of various sizes, um, all sorts of different ones. And again, these were fun. I can also put these in his diaper bag and take them with me. And um, while we're waiting for dinner to come, if we're out at a restaurant, it could be a game that we could play. Uh, right here, this is an old shoe box that it's been stored in. And I figure these things are 30 years old, so they've lasted a long time. Um, next, to reinforce the activity, we could create a book of shapes. And in this book, this was created back in 93, um, we created a book with circles. And he would illustrate the shapes that uh, he made. And again, we were learning about them. And then we would create it in a book. And then we would put it in his little library in his, his bedroom um, of books that he would have written. All right. And to make those ahead of time for that book, I made shapes for him to choose from uh, to glue on each of those pages. So again, just um, different ways to work with shapes. Okay, another way to work with shapes, um, here's a large piece of elastic. It is actually an elastic loop. I sewed the one end uh, to the other, and this way we could actually get into, the two of us could get into this loop and make a different, these different shapes. I took an old wooden block that he had, and I made the different shapes on the outside of the block. I just used a permanent marker, and when you would roll the die, uh, you would look at the shape that was on the top, and that would be the shape that you would make. For example, if it was this one, this is a rectangle. So the two of us being inside of the loop of this elastic would make a rectangle. And it would be fun as we pointed out the difference between the square and a rectangle. They both had four sides, or they both had the four sides on them, but the rectangle had two sides that were longer than the others. So once he got to school, he understood more about shapes because he actually experienced shapes in so many different ways. Now, about 20 years ago, I happened to teach this Tools for Motherhood online course, and one of the moms in my group, this, is her, this was her idea, she took an old sheet and she made fabric, pieces of fabric that were circles, um, that were triangles, rectangles, and she sewed them on the largest. This is oh, probably a six foot long, and it has six different shapes on it. Once again, you would take the block, you would roll the block, and then you would stand on it. 
Again, just another way of reinforcing fun activities with shapes. Have fun, and again, use what you've got around the house and be creative. Thanks for watching. If you would like more ideas, please check out our toolsformotherhood.com website. Happy learning!